Oh Lord, Jesse made another one. I'm telling you dog, if I catch that nigga, it's on sight. And that's on me. I'm tired of playing games with these fools. I want smoke. I want all the smoke. I don't care if you man, woman, children. Did he say children? That nigga crazy. I don't care who you are. Even you, nigga. Who, me? Yes, you, nigga. I'ma beat your ass. Damn, he gonna beat his ass. Huh, bro, hold on. We've been friends for like 10 years now. I don't give the slightest of fucks nigga you can catch this ass whooping too matter of fact bring that ass here boy get away from me where are you going nigga come catch these hands dog you see this this is a prime example of what is known as black air force energy now what is black air force energy you may ask well it's typically defined as individuals who cannot and or will not give a single about you who you know where you came from it doesn't really matter because they will not hesitate to put your ass on a t-shirt them hands are rated e for everybody they finna hit you with that night call put your ass to sleep if you keep playing with them because these individuals are savages they will stop at nothing and i mean nothing to make sure you have a bad day there is no reasoning with these niggas there's no talking to these niggas matter of fact don't even look in the general direction of these niggas because if you do you might fuck around and find yourself connecting to jesus's wi-fi in the sky way sooner than you expected now you can recognize a black air force energy nigga just by the aura that they radiate like you could just take one good look at that nigga and tell that he beat his mother's ass without a second thought just by the vibe they emit like if you take a look in that nigga's eyes you probably see just just violence just sheer hatred and malice to you to himself to society to everybody no one is safe these individuals want smoke with everyone and every living thing Shit, even if you're dead you're still not safe because they might mess around and dig your ass up just to mess with you some more for shits and giggles. Like these people are not right in the head. A black Air Force energy nigga will rob you. He will rob his best friend. Nigga, he will rob his grandmother. Yes, his old, withering, crippled grandmother. He will beat her to the ground just to rob her for some milk and cookies. Now, you may think that I'm exaggerating. You may think that niggas who wear black Air Forces can't be that bad. And you will be mistaken very 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 much mistaken because a man who wears black air forces has no regard for the safety of his own life you know what that means it means that they can do anything to fuck with your day even if it means putting their own bodies at risk as long as you end up having a bad day it doesn't matter so they could dead ass rugby tackle you off a cliff and break every single bone in their bodies but as long as you're hurt it's all worth it this is the type of crazy that we're dealing with here people who wear black air forces are always angry they're always just mad at something they're mad at everything it's like they got a bone to pick with everybody like somebody just went in i don't know killed their dog stole their favorite car and like anything you do even the slightest thing could just set them off just you looking at them in the wrong way could end up in them smoking your pack Is right there good? and then you gotta be careful around these niggas you gotta be vigilant you gotta make sure that you don't give them any excuse to mess with your day matter of fact that, that doesn't even matter because they don't even need an excuse they might just be on demon time and decide to send you straight to christ just based off a whim people who wear black air forces love violence they have no concept of peace whatsoever they want smoke at every hour of every day it doesn't matter where they are it doesn't matter when they are they could be at church i want smoke they could be at work i want smoke they could could be at an orphanage filled with depraved suffering innocent children and end up brolying them brolying them 
This is the term used to describe ass whoopings that are so brutal, so unbelievably violent that they can only be described as them being brolied. This includes, but it's not limited to, being clotheslined, dragging faces across the wall, and of course, body slamming them repeatedly with no sign of stopping. And they won't even lose any sleep afterwards. Did you know that the term Black Air Force Energy was first coined back in 1788 after a French man named Sir Reginald Lafosse brutally beat a man down and stomped on his head with the Black Air Forces? Because he, and I quote, looketh at me wrong. Now that's just when the name of it was created. In reality, the blood soaked history of black air forces dates even further back than that. Back in the days where cavemen would beat up their cave children because they thought it was funny. Now people who wear black air forces, please understand that this whole video was just a joke. So please do not make it your mission to hunt me down and kill me. You sick twisted bastards. <laughs> See we do what they never do, wonder why they hate Show them love when I'm on the stage, girl just show them breasts Don't want hugs, wanna see you dance Then just bust your square, give the unks, yeah she fell in love Just another black boy story, parent issues, drugs and mischief That's what kids do